let me start out by saying that I'm greatly honored to be here with you and so greatly honored to speak to such a distinguished audience. How did my interest in management begin by accident? I fell into it. I started to research, to read up on management, and lo and behold, there was nothing. Literally, or almost nothing, very little. And out of sheer necessity, I had to invent it. I started with a question that had never been asked, which is, what is a business? Uh, everybody took it for granted, which led to such then very new things as you have to have objectives, you have to have measurements, and you have to define what results are. All the things that everybody took for granted and that weren't there. And I had, had to make all these tools. There was just nothing. And uh, most of my major management books are books I wrote because I needed those tools and so weren't available. Management is not a science, it is not an art, it is a practice like medicine. You have a process of diagnosis, a process of prognosis, and the process of treatment. And in a practice, what matters is whether the physician makes the right diagnosis, but whether the patient recovers. That's performance, it's a test. I would say I've had two basic interests in retrospect. The balance between continuity and change, and the balance between community, society, and individual. These have been in retrospect, I was probably born that way. Most of my work is not because I was bright, but because I needed those tools and I couldn't find them, so I had to sit down and brittle them myself. But that's what I'll do, basically. Look at it and say, this is what everybody sees and takes for granted, familiar. Let's look at it. Is it? Period. It's not difficult. I never see anything in the future. I don't believe in it. I look out the window. Now uh, that, by the way, is I think what uh, a good journalist is trained to do. I mean, this, to look for the real story. Well, that's it. It sounds like a lot of this is common sense. All of it is common sense. That's why it's so rare. <laughs> Thank you very much.